In a remote atoll near Tahiti, Corey Garza, Andy Casagrande, and safety diver Perik Seibold put themselves in the line of fire. These investigators test the theory that some tiger sharks may work together and hunt in packs. Before they know it, they're fending off a double approach by two large tiger sharks and more. Again and again. The sharks seem to come in waves. retreat. Whoa! That was, that was intense. That was intense. I think there was some uh, pretty insane moments on that camera. Deflecting one coming here, another one behind you, and then at one point, <laughs> you and Pyrrhic literally like dancing on tigers. That was crazy, huh? You see what I mean? How they don't disappear? And then instead of just like one coming, it's boom, all at once. Here we go, 360 tiger sharks. They review the footage and search for clues. If these tigers cooperatively hunt, it may suggest that great whites could also do the same. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, one, two, three. Tigers. There's three right there, and then another tiger just following, following, following that yeah, tiger. Just following they come in in a fleet. After careful review, Corey is convinced. Tiger sharks working together makes sense. It's better for them and easier for them to learn to cooperate rather than to spend their whole time fighting each other. It could be an anomaly unique to this species, except for emerging evidence from around the world, from sand tiger sharks off South Africa to lemon sharks in Australia and gray reefs in French Polynesia they've all been observed to seemingly work together. And now this for the tigers of Tahiti. This 360 shows us that all of the sharks in mass are showing up together and leaving together pretty much every, every single, single time. time. It's not, and this is not This isn't coincidence. coincidence. Yeah, because it's happening every single time. 